Welcome to Hadoop tutorial. My goal of this tutorial is to understand Hadoop as easy as possible. While we use how it works, you will get familiar with Hadoop after this tutorial. I try to make it doesn't need any expertise to understand, so let's get it started. According to the official report, more than 90% of data were generated from 2011 to 2013. That is wow and we for sure the data until now from 2011 occupy more than 90%. I'm for sure you use some of these services. You may post pretty pictures on Facebook, birthday video on YouTube or Skype with your friends today. Nowadays many 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 people are posting on social media like Facebook, YouTube or sending emails with videos and pictures and this data size is a lot bigger than before 2011 where the internet main has text files or small image files. Many of us are still confused what the big data is. We need to differentiate big data and just normal data because this helps you to understand when to use Hadoop framework and when to use relational database. Yes, we still need relational database in big data era. Relational database is really good for integrity of data. For example, bank money transfer. When you deposit money from ATM, that information should be atomic and secure. One another example is your Facebook account information. It's a small amount of data, but must be secure, atomic, nobody except for you can access to it and relational database is still the best in this sense. Once you register your account on Facebook, you will post pictures, videos on Facebook, and these data are considered as big data. Every time you post these, the data will be stored in the database and will be a lot greater than your account information. Also, these data are not secure. You don't care if Facebook has multiple copies of it. You will even love it if Facebook displays your post very quickly and you may love if Facebook gives you restaurant recommendation on your location. Google, Facebook, and Amazon has tons of tons of data from you and mine as well and they want to analyze and improve their services and maximize their profit by putting ads on their proper user. These vital information are the big data and normally these data are too big to open from single application like Excel spreadsheet and also too big to store in a single database. This is why Hadoop came out. Let me show you a small story now. Traditionally, data transfer was like this. User requests data to server and the server receives the data from the database. However, Google had a headache with viral data from you and me because while showing search result is the key of the Google, it became slow because of the big data like your and my videos and pictures and posting or history. And also server was too expensive to upgrade in the past. After NoSQL database, they could resolve a little bit because now they can scale out database with cheap price. But still, search time was slow because while they could store more data, they still have just single CPU for processing the data. They came up with an idea called Google File System at MapReduce eventually and it worked very well. They changed the traditional pattern to new paradigm with Google File System and MapReduce algorithm, just like what you see now by putting processors where the data exists. They found moving computations is cheaper than moving data. A computation requested by an application is much more efficient if it is executed near the data it operates on. This is especially true when the data size uh, is very huge. This minimizes network congestion and increases the overall throughput of the system. Hadoop is the open source project 
with same idea based on Google File System and Map Reduce. Instead of Google from Google File System, we put Hadoop in the name. So Hadoop Distribute File System. Short term is HDFS. In the next video, we will see how HDFS writes and reads data. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.